Kevin. What in the heck was that? Somehow I knew you'd be watching. <laughs> that was the beginning of the walk of shame. I had an email the other day from a brand new TIG welder. He just got one of these AHP Alpha TIG 200s and he's been playing with it and learning with it. And he said, if I dip the tungsten or stick the tungsten right to the metal, or if you accidentally touch the tungsten with your filler rod, do I have to regrind it every single time? Yeah, yeah, you do. Because when you dip the tungsten into your base metal, you can see the little, the little crater and the little soot outline around it. Well, now that tungsten's contaminated with the aluminum. So it doesn't matter how much more welding you do, you're still going to be putting that contamination right back into your weld again. So if it's a structural weld, you know, if it's something that's going to be getting stress, it's not as going to be as strong as if it was, everything was clean and straight and square and, and the way it was supposed to be. So dip your tungsten into the weld, touch your tungsten with your filler rod, yeah, the walk of shame. Pull your tungsten out, walk across the shop to the grinder, regrind your tungsten. Now, one little, one little um, warning, if you will, with a lot of these TIG welders that use points for their high frequency start, just like the AHP does. When you stick that tungsten in the weld, the high frequency points in the machine go active again and they're saying, hey, the weld stopped, I gotta start that. So they're dumping just all kinds of current through there saying, get that started, get it started. You can blow those boards up. You can blow those points out. You, you burn those points out a lot faster than they would if you don't stick the tungsten. So it's a bad thing. Get out of that habit. You know, if you're doing it, stop it. If you're just starting to learn, here's something to be aware of. Don't do that. Keep your distance above your metal. You know, that eighth inch to about a quarter of an inch, that's the, the gap you're gonna want. And you've got to keep that distance the same. None of this hopping up and down, none of this moving, you know, no, this is really, really important. You know, not only for the weld, but for the machine. Keep that distance. If you, even you know, if you have to put another hand under to brace yourself, uh, you know, I, I like to you know, drag a finger, whatever, well, however you have to do it. Get your gap, keep your gap as you're making your weld. You know, everything will work out a lot better. So let me go regrind this. I like to cheat, I just use a cordless drill. Stick your tungsten in there and tighten it up. This is my little grinder. You can see it's a little Chicago Power Tools. It's from Harbor Freight. And these are the little diamond wheels that you can buy over there also. The whole thing cost me 20 bucks. Rather than run the hard tungsten against the soft stone on a regular bench grinder, it just works a lot better if you just have a diamond wheel because the diamond's harder than the tungsten is. And then just clean it up, you know, take it back to a point again. Uh, I like to go two thirds of the diameter of the tungsten down. That's, that's how much of, a, of a, uh, a taper I like to put on it. Almost to a point, not all the way to a needle because at the higher amperage, the needle, you know, that needle point just burns away too quick. So taper it a little bit, about two thirds. Like I say, that's what I like. And then just blunt that point just a, just the tiniest little bit. And it seems to last the longest for me. And for all you beginners out there, one tungsten only. Don't sharpen up a whole pack. Don't have just a whole mess of them sitting there all ready to go so you can just change them all out. No, 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 no. This is all about learning. So one tungsten only. Weld, when you screw up, take that walk of shame. 
and then come back and go back to playing. I mean working. So that's what I'm going to do. You guys pop out to my website. You know, come see what's going on out there. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. I'll see you next time. So I like to cheat. I use a little cordless drill and just stick your tungsten in there. Come on. Make sure it goes the right way. 